Thanks for joining the second part to installing a four foot chain link fence. The first thing you want to do is install all the fittings on your end and corner post. These are tension bands. Notice there is a flat side and a curved side. Make sure you put the flat side on the side of the fence that the chain link is going. There's always an inside and the outside. For a four foot fence, it'll get three bands. For a corner, it will get six bands. Alternate the directions for each line. Place your two-way cap on for the top row. Apply nuts and bolts to the tension bands. The top band will sit down about two inches under the top cap. The center band will go in the center of the line. And then the bottom band will go about four inches above the ground. Now put the line caps on. Notice there's a curve loop to the line top. That loop faces the outside of the chain link, the same side of the fence that the, that the chain link is going to hang on. Install your top rail. Smooth side goes into the top rail. You'll have a swedge, so they just joint together. It's very simple to join the top rail. Measure from the inside of the cap to the swedge. Make your cut. It's easiest to cut pipe with a portable bandsaw. Now if you'd like, you can also use rail ends. Now remember, if you're going to use a rail end, you have to make sure that you set your post two inches higher than normal. For a one-way or two-way bullet cap, you're at 48. For a rail end, you would be at 50. So now we're going to start hooking up the chain link. You want to make sure you put a tie on first. Run your bar through each link, making sure that it goes into your tension band. And continue all the way down. Tighten up your tension bands. A half inch impact drill does very well. Now we have to weave the chain link. Notice there's a single strand and a double strand. You have to have a single and a double strand when you weave wire together. A double and a double or a single and a single will not work. Knuckle the loose ends. And now it's time to stretch the fence. You're going to run a bar about three feet away from the end post, running it through the links of your chain link. Apply a couple tie wires so you can keep the top grade of your fence straight while you stretch. Wrap a come along above the middle band, center, apply your stretching bar. If you do not have a stretching bar, you might want to use two tension bars. For a stretch this small, you're just going to give it a couple good stretches until you can't pull the links together by hand. Find where you want to cut your wire. Don't make it too tight. Run your tension bar down, going through the links in your tension band. And then that stretch is complete. Now you're ready to tie the fence. For each 10 foot span, you want to put about five tie wires on the top. 
and for every line post you want to put three tie wires just like you did on your tension bands you have three tension bands for your corner post three tie wires for your line post space them about the same for shorter stretches you can use this tool it's called a one man it's too small for a come along so you have to use this tool. Makes it very simple and we have a nice tight stretch. Now we have to put in a double gate and a single gate. So we're going to install J bolts into holes that we have drilled into our post. The holes are about 10 inches down from the top and 14 inches up from the bottom. Now we're going to install our females on the hinging side. This is what's going to attach to the J bolts. Make sure you keep all your nuts and bolts on the inside of your fence for security purposes. For your J-bolts, make sure the bottom one faces up and the top one faces down so you can't lift your gate off of the J-bolts. Apply any finishing caps. Make adjustments and make sure your op gate opens well. And we're going to have the same process for the double gate. Main thing you want to keep in mind if you can is you want to try to keep the top of your fence straight. So if you can, you want to keep the top rail the same height. Now if you have smaller dogs, you might want to drop your gates down a little bit lower and it'll still look nice. For this fence project, there's two different grades, so the ground changes level so it's not 100% straight, so it'll stair step a little bit. For a double gate, you also need a center drop rod, so we are applying females. That one will attach about four inches up from the bottom. Apply your drop rod, and you'll want about four inches of slack to drop into the drop pin we're going to set. Line your gate up. When you find center, just drive in a stop. For larger gates, you want to concrete that into the ground. We like to set screw our females on double gates because they get a lot of wear and tear. It just keeps everything straight for a long time. If you've done everything correct, your project should turn out just as beautiful as this one. Again, thanks for watching. For more tutorials, please go to buttesfence.com. And as always, please subscribe.